Hello everyone, welcome back to Netflix, and today I'm going to show you how to get a free 24-7 Minecraft server. As Minecraft server hosting is for free, and it is for 24-7, but with a bit of a catch. Now I will explain that catch later on in this video. So the Minecraft server hosting I'm talking about today is minecrafthosting.pro. Now I will leave a link in the description down below to this website, and the first thing you're going to want to do is actually make an account with the website. And then what you're going to want to do is actually go through some of these settings here. Now, if you don't know how to do all these settings, I will leave a link on screen now and also in the description down below to a video where I actually do this and show you which ones to actually click when setting up a server on this server hosting. Now, once you've done all those settings, you should be brought over to your dashboard. So this is what the dashboard looks like right here. As you can see, I've already got a server already set up. I'm going to go through a few settings that you can do on the server hosting. Now if you come down here already you can see online mode so you can have it online mode if you want to or you can switch it off by just clicking on it just like that also pvp you can have that as well and basically these are pretty simple steps you can do here but once you've changed any of these just make sure you click on save changes at the bottom here because uh, yeah if you don't do that you will not save any of the progress you've done also you've got to name your server first before you actually do stuff so i was to call mine slow uh, server why not just like that and the max build height i'm gonna put that at 250 i think you can go higher than that now in minecraft 1.19 so yeah you can do whatever you want on that i think the max is like 300 and something i'm not too sure but yeah you can change that to whatever you want i'll click on save changes now and it should just save your changes you've done now you can change this to whatever you want so you can change the easy mode to peaceful uh, to normal to hard so you can do all that if you want to and the seed you can add a seed in here as well so basically just customize how you want also the console's up here in the corner as well so click on that it should bring the console up at the moment i do not have my server running so i can't actually uh, get into my console so i'm gonna close that down for now so your minecraft ip is up here in the corner this is what we're going to use to join your minecraft server and your friends will use that to join your minecraft server as well so you can use that or you can use this one just here to join your minecraft server it's up to you i'm going to copy this one here right now so yeah just copy that i'm going to copy that and as you can see right now we're going to go over to plugins just here so you can add plugins to the server so you can just add some in here they've got some here for you already if you want to do that but i'm not going to add any because i didn't set my server up for servers i already did it for minecraft vanilla edition so yeah i can't add any uh, plugins to my server just yet but i can swap that later if i wanted to right maps you can add your own maps in here so at the moment as you can see it's just got the normal map this is just a normal world for your minecraft you can always generate a new map as well if you wanted to so you could do that there players so in players you can actually uh, whitelist people uh, you can ban ip people uh, banned players so basically when you ban players on your server you can see them all listed in here so pretty simple stuff really so maintenance you can do a lot of stuff here so here i can actually swap my server over to a plugin server or a modded server and you could also do mod packs and stuff like that as well but for now i'm gonna leave mine on vanilla because that's just what i'm gonna use so now what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna load my server up so i'm gonna click on this little button just here this little start button and click on that and now my server should start loading up now this could take a couple of minutes depends on how many plugins or mods you've got installed or how big your world is but at the moment my world is very small and yeah just taking a couple of seconds there and now it has started as you can see everything is moving up here in the corner and how much ram i'm using and all that so now if I go into my console, you should be able to see some stuff is actually happening in here. So as you see my server is actually starting up right now. It's actually repairing the spawn area. And my Minecraft server is for Minecraft 1.19.2. So I'm going to let this all start up. I'm going to close that down for now. Also, you've got the hardware stats here. So if you click on that, it can bring all the stats up about your server. So you can see how long it's been online for. You can see the uh, amount of uptime it's got and all that. And the ping as well. And you've got a loads more stuff you can do down here as well. And all this information you can have. Just see how your server is running. Right, so that's all the information on there. And now what I'm going to do is actually join my Minecraft server. So here I am in Minecraft. So I'm going to go over to multiplayer. Click on add server. And just here, I'm going to add in my IP just there. You can name the server whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it like that. And click on done. And here is my Minecraft server. And it looks like I'm not in Minecraft 1.19.2. So I'm going to have to quickly swap that. Okay, that's a lot better. Now it works as you can see. So I'm going to join it by clicking that button just there. And just join my server. Okay, here we are in my server. So I spawned it in a Mesa biome. So that's um, pretty cool. Right now, I'm actually going to tell you how to get into creative mode. And get yourself opt on the server. Because probably I'm not opt on the server. No, I'm not. So I can't go into creative mode or ban players and all that type of stuff. So if you want to know how to do that, it's very simple. So here we are in the server dashboard right now and um, from here you click on console just up here click on console and once you are in your console just type in op 
and then space, then your gamer tag, just like that, and click on enter, and then it should opt me on the server. Now, if you hop back over to Minecraft, you should see this message in the chat just here. And now I should be able to go into uh, Minecraft uh, creative and all that type of cool stuff. So now I am in uh, creative mode, so I can do whatever I want. I can fly about, make stuff in creative mode. And also now you can ban players on the server, uh, whitelist players and all that from just in game. So it's pretty simple, really. So if you want to ban a player, just simply type in ban. It already comes up for you. And then you've just got to type somebody's name. So I'm going to type up Bob. Uh, I don't know who this is, so sorry if you're game attacks, Bob, but you can be banned on my server. So there you go, you are now banned on my server, and you can no longer play on my server. So yeah, that is how you ban a player. To ban IP someone, simply the same thing, but you just want to put in a uh, dash IP and then the same person. So Bob, once again, you are now banned IP on my server. And that didn't work because they're not on my server and yeah, they're not actually a person on my server. So I can't IP ban them on my server. But there is a way more stuff you can do. You can also do this from in the console on the server dashboard. You don't have to do it in your Minecraft game like I am doing just down here. If you still need help on this server hosting, you can join my Discord. Now in my Discord, I can help you in there if you get stuck on anything in this video. Or if you want to know how to do something, just join my Discord and we can tell you how to do it from in there. So the catch on this server, there's always a catch for every server hosting out there that is for free. So the catch for this server guys, that it is only 24 seven for 10 days. So basically you get a free trial for 10 days, but it is 24 seven for just the 10 days. And then after that, you will have to uh, save all your data on your server or download it or something like that. There's always a catch for these Minecraft server hostings. You can never get anything for free forever. But this is the best one I could find out there that is for free for 24 seven and you can also play with your friends. So it is great for playing like mini games and all that. But yes guys, that is it for this video. Hopefully you have all enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like, subscribe and I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.